stainless style ribs on the master built electric grill, electric smoker. Uh, I got this grill for Christmas and used it a few times and so far the uh, results have been pretty good. Uh, my biggest complaint is probably that um, you know it takes a good part of, of the day or several days to plan and it's, uh, it's pretty difficult to, uh, to experiment with because you really have to dedicate a lot of time to it. So I made ribs a few times, it came out good. Um, today I'm going to try the uh, St. Louis variety and what's meant by that is their spare ribs that are, that are uh, cleaned up and trimmed and what we have here is the ribs that I rubbed last night and trimmed and the pieces that came out of it after being trimmed are here. Um, you can cook these separately, they have a similar flavor but they're technically not supposed to be on the rib. Uh, there's a couple of good videos that I was watching last night that explain uh, how to how to trim it into a proper St. Louis cut, so I won't go into those details. So last night I uh, I rubbed the ribs uh, with uh, you know the usual uh, salt and pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, a little chili powder, uh, some brown sugar. Um, so I'm just going to uh, unwrap this and uh, we'll we'll get it on. Yeah, we're all unwrapped and. Uh, and there you have uh, a nice rack of ribs and the rest of the meat. Uh, before you actually put anything on the grill, uh, you are supposed to uh, warm it up first. The instructions say to run it at full blast for a half hour with uh, the wood chips already in. And what we have here is um, cherry wood chips that have been soaking for about an hour. Uh, they usually say go about a half hour, but too bad. I'm also going to make a spray of bourbon and grenadine, and I'm going to spray the ribs every hour with that, and uh, we'll walk, walk through how to get the, uh, the grill warmed up. One of the most annoying parts of it is this water pan that uh, some instructions don't explicitly say to use it, but I'm going to use it for my past experience. It helps keep the ribs moist. I'm just going to fill this up with water and stick it in here. Here's the, the grill itself. Uh, if you look at the door, it looks like a murder scene. <laughs> but I do assure you that I cleaned it after every use. Uh, here's that water pan I was telling you about. Um, it's pretty difficult to get in when uh, it's filled all the way with water. So I usually go out and fill it a little bit more. Uh, you can use water, you can use fruit juice, wine. Um, in my experiments, I really don't taste much of a difference, so I just use plain water. Uh, once the water's done, I have to put the, the dog on the grill. You know, once the water's done, I'm going to go here to the um, section that holds the wood chips. And it's going to fill this up. Be careful once the grill is warmed up. This does get very hot. It's basically hot metal. I'm going to fill it. Again, this is cherry wood. Uh, be careful not to overfill it. I might have just done that here, but we'll see. Okay, simple enough. Okay. Now that that's all done, this needs to warm up for a half hour. Yeah, and we're, we're back inside of the kitchen. One of the uh, main selling points of, of that master belt grill is that it comes with uh, remote control. You can see here. I'm back, I'm back in the kitchen. I'm about 20 feet or so from outside, and the batteries are dead. Nope, there you go. All right, so what I'm going to do with this is uh, crank up the temperature all the way. It goes to I believe 275. Yeah, I do, do think the batteries are dying, but there you go, 275, and uh, it's going to set the time for. Dead batteries. Okay, we're back with new batteries. Let's try that again. Uh, much better. Kind of get out of the glare. Alright, so I'm going to set the temperature to 275. Set the time for 24 hours. It really doesn't matter. We'll, we'll be keeping an eye on it. And that's it. Now, if I go outside to, uh, to look at the grill, <coughs> we'll see that it's moving up to 275. Uh, here we go. It's set for 24 hours. It's currently 80 degrees. And let's see here. Oops. 
set temp for 275, so that's what we're waiting for. So this is going to warm up for about a half hour. And uh, during that time, I'll look at the, the spray. Well, we're back outside. It's been about 40 minutes. Just want to check the temperature. And about 260. Okay, so now I'm going to open this up and put the ribs in. It smells incredible, as you can imagine. There you go, I ended up using uh, three of the grapes. So I uh, guess we'll go back to the, uh, the chip holder here. Screw that. I remember I said this gets very hot, so be careful. Okay, it's more chips. the temperature to 225. And remember before I did it from the remote, now I'll do it right from here. Okay, and you'll notice I have the, uh, the airflow fully open. There's some debate over whether to leave it open or close. I leave it fully open based on uh, my old Weber grill. That's what the instruction said, and I've never had an issue, so just leaving it fully open. I'll come back out in about an hour to All right, it's been about an hour. hour. So what I'm going to do now is um, take a look at the ribs, spray them down with our uh, bourbon glaze, and add some more wood. Uh, you're always told, uh, you know, try not to open the door too much because it does enough a lot of uh, heat escape and it takes a while to get warmed up. But uh, you know, if you want to do the spray and, and, and check on the meat, of course you have to open it. Um, no, I've been. I've been doing it uh, you know, once an hour or so, seems to work okay. Uh, as you can see, one of the selling points of the grill was uh, the glass in front, but uh, besides seeing me, you can't really see much meat because it holds so much grease. So, <coughs> going to go ahead and uh, open this up. <coughs> we'll get a blast of smoke, so I'm going to step back here. Okay, looks like we're doing pretty good. Excuse the fog on the lens, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, spray these down here. And again, this is uh, bourbon, grenadine, and apple juice. I like a nice sweet crust on the ribs. Okay, that smells great. <coughs> now I'm going to add some more wood, put this back in the drawer. Okay, and uh, every hour I'll come out here and uh, spray these a little bit more, and uh, I'll be back in a few hours. Uh, it's been a couple of hours. Uh, about an hour ago I went out and uh, did more spray. Now I'm going to do some spray and add some Sweet Baby Ray sauce. Uh, there's a little, little bit of debate over um, when exactly you should add the sauce. Some people say it burns uh, if you add it too early. What I've seen is if you're cooking it low and slow on a smoker, uh, it doesn't burn. It'll give you that nice uh, crust, the nice bark that a lot of people like. So I'm thinking there's probably another couple of hours to go, so I'll put this on. Okay, so right back outside, we'll take a peek at the ribs here. I'll try to stand out of the way of the smoke this time. Oh, didn't do too good. <laughs> okay, let me get in there a little closer. You can see they're coming along nicely. Um, a nice color. I'm just going to spray them again. And I'm going to pull them out here, shelf by shelf, and add some sauce. going too crazy, but I am putting a, a nice coat, which like I said, we'll put a, a, a nice bark on the ribs. Okay, these are the beauties right here. And apologize for the camera work. Uh, 
Obviously, I'm a one-man show here. I have the camera strapped around my neck and trying to brush and baste. So, excuse me. Now, this rib on the left is looking a little bit dry. Kind of concerning, but we'll see what happens. And I'm starting to see here, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, that the ends of these ribs are starting to pull away from the bone. That's usually a good indicator that they're just about done, actually. Um, this one especially, the ribs on this one to the right are a little bit bigger. Um, I am going to leave them on for at least another hour, though. I don't think there's any danger. I don't think they'll overcook, but usually when you see that, it's a good indication that they're, uh, they're almost done. And you can hear my neighbor's kid screaming. I guess he wants some ribs. Mm, there's the dog. Okay, and now, like I said before, I wasn't going to add any more, uh, any more wood chips. So. <clears throat> okay, I'll latch it up and uh, let's see what the temperature is here. This looks like we're in uh, 178, that's the temperature of the uh, the chamber itself. So, we'll be back out in another hour. Here we are, it's been about another hour. I'm thinking they're probably about done. Let's see what we have. Okay. <coughs> see now that the, the meat is definitely pulling away from the bone here on the left. I'd say that guy's just about done. On the right, it's not pulling away as much. And the bottom piece is looking good. The top piece is looking good. <coughs> I'm thinking they're just about done. I'm going to spray them and uh, put another round of sauce. See what we have. This one is a beautiful color. I love that red and black, nice glaze. This one separated out from the pack. Uh, I don't really know why, but it's looking good. Interesting how uh, these pulled away from the bones so much more than the right side. And this the other side's a little bit bigger, so maybe that's why. I might even leave that side on for uh, maybe another hour. I'll just eat the other half. And, uh, you know, you can see that the sauce did not burn. It just has a nice glaze and a, a nice bark. So, I think if you put it on, uh, you know, maybe a very hot grill, it probably burns. But not so much with the smoker. I remember, you're only cooking at, uh, you know, relatively low, 225 or so. Okay, there you go. <coughs> back inside and since I have to hold the camera I wasn't really able to show the me pulling off the bone but here we go um, it's definitely not full off the bone it is pull off the bone as you can see here and to me that's perfect uh, some people like full off the bone I, I do like them with, with a little more texture so uh, I think we're good to go and it smells great and uh, thanks for watching Thank you.